In the previous episode, Haimno brought Denji to her home and she asked him if he wants to do it. Hearing this, he gets completely surprised, and he asks her what she is talking about. Then Haimno asks him for love making, but Denji does not believe that she wants to do all this with him. That's when, Haimno asks Denji to take off his clothes. Now, Denji also gets ready for this. Still, he seems to be confused. After this, Haimno starts taking off his shirt with her own hands. Denji starts thinking whether this is good or not, because he was supposed to have his first kiss with Miss Makima. But this chick puked all over that. So, Denji doubts if he can really let her have his first time. Haimno is drunk at this moment and wants to take advantage of him. She has taken off his shirt and is about to take off his pants too. Haimno starts to take off his pants and Denji is completely surprised. Meanwhile, she realizes that Denji has put something in his pocket. So, she asks Denji about it. But he doesn't give any answer on this. When Haimno checks his pocket, she finds a chupa chups. Now seeing this, Denji starts thinking. Then we see a flashback scene when he was sitting with Makima after kissing. But this time he seems troubled. So, Makima starts asking Denji about it and tells him that he should get some fresh air. Hearing this, Denji comes out of the hotel for some time, while Makima buys nausea medicine for him from the supermarket, and tells him to take it along with some water when he goes to bed. But something was still bothering Denji, so he decides to talk to Makima about it. He tells her that his first kiss has turned out really trashy, so even if he kisses a bunch of girls from now on, maybe he is going to remember the taste of puke every time. Makima is listening to his words carefully. She has a chupa chups and asks Denji to open his mouth. She puts her chupa chups in his mouth. Now, Denji is completely shocked by this, because he didn't expect Makima to do something like this to him. And this thing is also an indirect kiss. Denji stares at Makima and cannot speak to her. Then Makima starts telling him that she doubts he will ever forget how that puke tasted. But it's okay, because until he dies, he is going to experience a lot of new things. Also, he would not have time to think about vomiting. She then tells Denji that as for his first indirect kiss, looks like it tastes like a cola flavor chupa chups. Hearing this, Denji keeps looking at the chupa chups. In the next scene, we see that he has still kept the chupa chups with him. Apart from this, he has also refused to make love with Haimno. That's why, Haimno is lying on the bed alone while Denji himself is lying on the floor. But at this time, he was also remembering Pachita. He also says sorry to him, because he probably wanted to score. But Denji wants the first time to be with Miss Makima. So, until he kills the gun devil, he can't do it. The next day, Haimno wakes up before Denji. While Denji was still asleep, she wakes him up and asks for breakfast. In the next scene, Denji is having breakfast with Haimno. He is watching the people while having breakfast because of which, he is enjoying this experience very much. Haimno tells Denji that she was so drunk last night, so she blacked out. But still, she did not take advantage of him last night. To which Denji says that she thinks he wants a piece of some pukey chick. But his first time is going to be with Miss Makima. Hearing this, Haimno tells Denji that this is a relief, because they will throw him in jail for doing that kind of thing with minors. However, Denji does not speak anything on this matter. Then Haimno starts telling Denji that he is totally different from others, because most people would feel too awkward to eat after something like that, to which Denji asks who turns down free food. Meanwhile, Haimno asks Denji if he likes Miss Makima too. Denji then replies that he super likes her. Hearing this, Haimno asks Denji if he would still like her if her personality was trashy, to which Denji says that he would like anything of hers. Just then, Makima gets an idea. She tells Denji that he is going to get the two of them together. Denji immediately gets excited hearing this and asks Haimno if she can really do it. Then Makima tells Denji that she can. So, she proposes that they should form a secret alliance, because she is going to help him get together with Miss Makima, so he will have to help her get with Hayakawa. Hearing this, Denji thinks about it for a while, and then asks her what she likes about Hayakawa, to which Haimno talks about his face. After this, we see that Denji is happy with Haimno's proposal, and that is why, he agrees to do this alliance with her. Then Haimno tells Denji that starting today they are not just co-workers, but good friends. She then tells Denji that he should come over for breakfast every now and then bring the power and Hayakawa. However, Denji was still thinking about Miss Makima, and he wonders if she would come also. In the next scene we see a train, in which Makima was going to Kyoto, and this time she has a partner along with her. Makima asks her partner when they are supposed to arrive in Kyoto. Then her partner tells her that it will take about 30 minutes to reach there. Now, Makima thinks to buy a lunch at the station, to which her partner says that she has got a lunch meeting. Then Makima says that she will make sure to be hungry again by then. 
Meanwhile, we learn that she is not interested to meet with the Kyoto bigwigs, but they are so intimidating. So, a meal is better when she gets to relax. Also, she was remembering about last night's party, because the drinks were very good. Just then we see some suspicious people in this train, and as soon as the train is about to pass through a tunnel, they shoot Makama and his partner with their guns, but they could not get any chance to save themselves. At this time, Makama and her partner are badly injured, and their killers are talking about Team C. In the next scene, we see Denji, Haimno, Hayakawa, and Power sitting in a restaurant. But today there was a strange silence all around, because of which, it seems that something is going to happen here. On the other hand, an old lady approaches Kobni and Arai to ask for directions, while the others are busy in their own works. As the old lady moves away from Kobni and Arai, she takes out a gun from her, about which Kobni and Arai do not know anything. Apart from this, there are many other people here who have guns. Just then the old lady shoots Kobni and Arai. Meanwhile, Denji hears some sound, but no one has any idea about the firing because of which, no one pays attention to this and they think that maybe there is a festival today. Power asks Haimno if she and Denji truly not mate last night, to which Haimno tells Power that Denji is more of a gentleman than she would think. Suddenly an unknown person tells them that he is amazed that they can eat ramen at this point, and then he asks them if the taste do not bug them, but none of them know about the man. Denji says that he likes this food, but Power angrily forbids him to talk to her casually. Then the unknown man says that they can't tell good from bad when it comes to food, because they eat crap from an early age, so they are bound to have bad taste when they are grown, and it is hard to be happy with bad taste also, to which Power angrily says that she is perfectly happy. Then the unknown man starts saying that his granddad was the sweetest guy in the world, and he took him to fancy places with really good food, but Denji and his companions try to ignore the words of this unknown man. Then he starts saying that he was a Yakuza, but he was still a good guy. They would have called him a necessary evil, but only ever killed a handful of women and children. Also, he used to spoil him rotten with the money he made from dealing. However, everyone loved him and he was the real model of a Takayoite. At this moment Denji is also surprised and is listening to all his words carefully. Now, the unknown man takes out a photograph, and he tells Denji that he loved him too. Seeing this Denji asks him what he wants. Hayakawa asks Denji if he knows him. But right now Denji doesn't give him any answer. The unknown man starts saying that he heard the gun devil is after his heart. Suddenly he shoots Denji with his gun. After this, he is going to shoot the others as well. But power attacks that man. And Hayakawa stops the unknown man from escaping with the help of his fox devil. However, Denji and Haimno are badly injured. Then the fox devil starts telling Hayakawa that he has certainly put something outrageous in her mouth this time. Because he is neither human nor devil. Hayakawa is surprised to hear this from her, because he doesn't understand what the fox devil is talking about. Meanwhile, the unknown man rips apart the fox devil and comes out. He was looking very dangerous and many blades are also attached in his body. Seeing this, Hayakawa also understands that this danger is really very big. That's why, he tells Power to stop Haimno's bleeding. Now, the strange man starts attacking Hayakawa. So, Hayakawa also faces him with his sword. He starts wounding the strange man during which, the fox devil was counting down. Now, the strange man is so furious, and he tries to kill Hayakawa with his blade. But Hayakawa is also very talented. He defends himself from each of his attacks and wounds him one more time with his sword. During this, the fox devil was also helping him, because of which, Hayakawa was able to face the strange man very easily. But the fox devil's countdown is about to end. And with that, the strange man kicks Hayakawa and throws him away. Hayakawa is also very surprised at this time, because even he could not understand what this thing is. He then asks the fox devil to eliminate the strange man. Now, the fox devil's countdown was also over, and she immediately grabs the strange man in her claws. Now, he is unable to do anything, and the fox devil knocks him down. Hayakawa asks Power about Haimno's condition. Power then tells him that Haimno needs to be taken to the doctor. Hayakawa begins to think that the strange man had a gun. However, it should be impossible for anyone but the police or devil hunters to get them in Japan. And moreover the strange man was talking about that the gun devil is after Denji's heart. But at this moment Hayakawa doesn't think much about it, because their first priority is getting Haimno looked after. Suddenly, a girl starts saying that getting hit by that nail enough times means he dies. Now hearing her voice, Hayakawa turns back and the girl tells him that he has got some pretty good moves. Hearing this, Hayakawa asks the girl where she has come from, and if she is working with the strange man. But the girl doesn't answer any of his questions, and he brings the strange man back to life. 
Hayakawa is shocked to see this, as he could not understand what was happening here. The girl asks the strange man if he knows why he lost, to which the strange man says that he underestimated Hayakawa. After this the girl tells him that he must kill him this time. Now hearing this, the strange man gets ready to kill Hayakawa. So, Hayakawa also prepares himself to face him. But this time the strange man stands behind him at very high speed. This time he also injures him very easily and Hayakawa can't do anything to save himself. But he is still alive. The girl tells the strange man that the devil hunter suits are pretty sturdy. So, she tells him to finish Hayakawa. Seeing this, Haimno tells Power not to worry about her and help Hayakawa. Because she doesn't want to lose him. But Power doesn't go to face the strange man. Because she could not even follow his movements. That's why, she is not ready to face him. Haimno then decides to use her ghost hand. But her ghost hand was also very scared and starts saying that the girl is dreadful. At this time, Haimno was also badly injured. That's why, she also cannot face the strange man in this condition. She then decides to give the ghost hand everything she has got. And in return, she asks her to give her everything she has got. The ghost hand agrees to help her and goes to kill the strange man. At this time, the ghost hand has come in her original form and her size is very large. Haimno starts saying that Hayakawa can cry. Most devil hunters see so many people around them die, and so often, their tears run dry. But Hayakawa cries so easily. Now, the ghost hand and the strange man start attacking each other. Haimno starts saying that she used to think it was funny, how Hayakawa would cry in private after the rookies he was looking after died. But having someone care enough for him to cry like that might be nice. Haimno then sacrifices one of her arms, because with the help of this, ghost hand was fighting with the strange man. Ghost Hand somehow manages to capture him and starts wounding. But now Haimno has sacrificed her other arm to save Hayakawa. The Ghost Hand is about to kill the strange man, so he asks the girl to do something. At this moment Hayakawa is watching Haimno and was saddened to see her in this condition. However, Haimno has decided to sacrifice herself and she tells Hayakawa not to die on her, so that when she dies, he can cry for her. At this time Haimno has sacrificed more than half of her body. But the girl also gets ready to save the strange man, and kills the ghost hand using her snake. Hayakawa gets very sad seeing this, because Haimno has sacrificed herself in an attempt to save him, and Hayakawa can only see her clothes here. Now the girl asks the snake to leave from here. After this episode ends, watch the video of the left side if you have missed the previous part, and subscribe to Annie Summary for more anime recaps.